Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm out on the NC750 and uh, I'm testing out a new windshield extension that I just put on here. Now, if you haven't seen my previous videos, this is not the stock windshield for the NC750X, but it is the official Honda version of the tall windshield. Um, I did a previous video testing that out. And although I do like it better than the stock windshield for its protection, it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Um, wanted something a little bit taller, hence this little windshield extension on here. So I will put a link in the description for this particular one. Uh, it, it fits really good on this windshield. It's kind of concerned um, you know, I did measure the windshield and everything uh, prior to picking it up, but until you get them in hand, sometimes you really don't know, and, you know, if it's going to work for it. Uh, this windshield is slightly, you know, curved, so I wasn't sure how much of uh, an adjustment there was going to be available on there, but it turned out to not to be an issue at all. About to test this out on the freeway. That's going to be the real test. So with the tall windshield that I had installed on here, you know, I did notice that, um, you know, I had a lot of, of wind still going to the helmet, but if I would tip my head down a little bit then that would clear up a lot of that extra wind that I was getting um, just a little bit of buffeting like right on the very tip top of my head but uh, wow this is noticeably different right here now I set this little clip on as high as it'll go and it seems to be a good choice for this particular setup here So in my opinion, the biggest drawback of this windshield on here is that it's it's too narrow. So you're getting um, a lot of wind blocked from your chest and you know, with, with an attachment on here, you can get it to be blocked from your helmet as well. But uh, you still get a lot of wind over here hitting your shoulders and stuff. So it definitely beats not having any wind protection at all, but it could be better. Now, I've been thinking about getting one of these little clip-ons for a while now, but uh, it wasn't until after a bunch of you guys in the comments suggested those things to me that I really started taking it seriously. And I'm like, you know what, rather than try to go out and buy a whole new entire windshield setup, um, let me just try this little clip-on thing and see if it works. Um, you know, the price of these things, it's obviously a lot less than picking up a whole new windshield. but it looks like this might just work for me. Here's a better look at the front here. Now one thing that I've heard from people that have reviewed this particular one is that these little uh, plastic pieces kind of come out sometimes. Um, these just cover the screws in here. I'm not too worried about that to tell you the truth. But uh, one of my concerns before installing one of these is just the, the fact that I wasn't really confident that uh, that this clip-on would be held on strong enough and I was worried about it like flying off and hitting me in the helmet but there are little rubber cushions under here and uh, the the pressure that, that I tighten this on the windshield is pretty substantial so I'm not uh, afraid anymore of this thing coming out I think uh, the whole windshield would probably come off before this thing would okay one final thing I want to do is 
check if anybody picked up the key tag that I left in here. Yes, they did. Well, that's encouraging. Somebody got one of the KS Studios key tags. So I'm going to leave another one. Just to give you an idea where it's located. I've been picking up some new gear here in preparations for some winter riding out here in Arizona. And there's a definite possibility that I might be having to commute every day on the bike, um, including days that are really cold or raining, um, because the electric vehicle that I have, which is a 2020 Chevy Bolt, um, is actually under recall, and I'm going through a process trying to have Chevy buy the car back for me. So I might be riding my bike as my only vehicle. And I'm actually okay with that. Um, you know, it would save me a ton of money if I didn't have a car payment. So if I can just ride my bike for a little while, that would be awesome. I might even pick up a second bike at that point. This little uh, clip-on windshield extension, it's doing really good. Um, I have it, as I mentioned earlier, I have it in the full um, upright position. And I think I'm actually going to leave it there because uh, it was providing just enough wind protection now um, to get all the wind off my helmet now so hopefully it's going to be quieter you know for the uh, moto vlog setup here you guys will have to let me know if, if the audio sounded uh, clear less wind noise hopefully it's not obstructing your view too much it looks like it's probably right in the way where my chin is at so if it's in the way sorry about that for now, I think that'll do it. I'm going to leave this on here. It's definitely an upgrade. Um, you know, having the, the tall version of the Honda windshield and then this little clip on on top of it seems like it's a perfect solution for my needs. I'm going to try riding a little bit here with my visor up to see if the wind noise is reduced on here with this windshield extension. It's not bad at all. Go a little faster. Yeah, so my visor is up. I'm not getting a, a lot of wind directly to my eyes, so I am getting a little bit of uh, cross breeze. But this extension is definitely helping out a lot.
Well guys, it's been a couple weeks since I put this uh, windshield visor on here and so far so good. I was very skeptical about this before I installed it, but uh, it's definitely won me over. So thanks to everybody that suggested uh, trying one of these things out before going a more extreme route and swapping out like the entire windshield or whatnot. So uh, thanks again. And something else uh, that I thought about after I recorded the first part of this video is that uh, this, um, this windshield visor actually comes, I believe, in three different sizes, like a small, medium, and large. This one is the small version. So um, just thought I'd put that out there because the, the medium and the, the large ones would probably be too wide for this particular windshield that it's hooked up to. So um, their sizing chart is on there. So just go by that before you go and purchase one of these things. That's about all I had for this video, guys. Um, again, thanks again for all your suggestions. I'm really glad I tried this out. Definitely an improvement over what I was using before. So thanks again, guys. If you liked the video, click that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next one.